Alrighty guys, so I'm a big triathlon fan and this is a little bit of a deviation from some of my normal content. Um, I also wanted to get some of the race footage from this, but it turns out you have to actually be a member of uh, whatever the streaming company was so and pay for it. So I'm not going to do that. But nonetheless, one thing that's very interesting and I wanted to get anyone's opinions on the from those who follow Ironman and professional sports cycling even, uh, because we've seen this a little bit whereby, you know, industry is coming out and, say, and using... Uh, disc brakes for everything and even time trial bikes um which are proven to be you know heavier bikes they can cause issues with rubbing etc uh and you've also got the the actual moving rotational mass being the wheel itself being heavier um and here we have lionel sanders building up an original movie star team bike and one thing that's very interesting to note is that the team bike is in fact a disc brake bike um, a very simple time trial bike, so none of the you know storage gear that a normal triathlon would bike would have. For example, the uh, food box and everything else. But nonetheless, Lionel Sanders, Ironman Oceanside, a course that does have some climbs, particularly at the end of the uh, bike course, I believe. Um, running for a disc bike, disc brake bike, as opposed to the you know his normal. Sorry, running running a rim brake bike, I should say, as opposed to his normal disc brake bike that um you know that other otherwise be running and you see here uh you know no no discs um and and obviously the the integrated room brakes are very much you know well well hidden away just part of the frame in there as well so overall a lighter bike overall something you know does this uh spell the start of athletes you know i mean in triathlon particularly but we've seen it in cycling you know chris froome has been quite vocal about how he doesn't necessarily love disc brakes um, but are even uh, triathletes now starting to prioritize performance over the general movement towards, you know, cool, sexy things such as disc brakes in bikes, which, you know, uh, aren't necessarily faster. And it's like, well, how much do you even need to use your brakes in a, in a triathlon? Um, ideally, not that much. And um, nonetheless, I'll keep it very short. Um, Lionel Sanders running a rim brake triathlon bike in Ironman Oceanside. And what was the result? We saw him have a decent ride, a um, little bit off the back or off the pace, coming off the bike overall after the swim and bike, and then basically had, you know, the fastest run of the day by like two minutes and was uh, not in contention and ran himself into contention. So did the rim brake bike have anything to do with having fresher legs coming off it? Who knows? I'll leave it up for you guys, to you guys to decide. Uh, I appreciate this is obviously a bit, bit, bit different to my normal content, but nonetheless, um, something I'm fascinated by and I want to get your opinion. Is Lionel going for performance over the general accepted, you know, use our sponsored bike and do as we say? And is that a good thing for pro racing? And does it give a bit of an insight into, you know, whether or not some age groupers should be, you know, trying to invest in these latest and greatest disc uh, sorry yeah disc brakes when rim brake bikes are being you know now starting to be preferred by even the pros so rim brakes by lionel sanders there let me know what you guys think and nonetheless he almost won the race coming off it even though he was a little bit behind after the bike so there we go and also thank you uh obviously this is using Tubber cox footage or lionel sanders footage so hopefully this doesn't get copyrighted or anything of the likes but nonetheless Something I found very interesting from Iron Man Oceanside, and that's about it. Performance over latest and greatest. Thank you.